Hey, what's up everyone? Foxhounder N313 here. Alright, so I beat Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild a couple of days ago. And I should have a screenshot up on the uh, up on the video right now where you can see a star next to my save file that indicates that I've beaten the game. Now I did a video a few weeks back before Zelda and before the Switch came out when Nintendo had announced that they were going to do DLC for Breath of the Wild and they announced they were doing basically a season pass and there would be three DLC packs. And you could go back to that video and watch it and see what's all in the DLC season pass thing if you want to. But the thing I want to focus on specifically here is the difficulty mode because in that press release they said that the second DLC pack or I guess technically it's the first DLC pack, would have a new hard mode, and they used the word new, which to many of us implied that it was an additional hard mode on top of one that was already in the game. But having beaten the game, I can say that there isn't a hard mode in there. There is no hero mode or master quest that I can tell, unless it doesn't indicate that. It very well could be the case that it's like the first Legend of Zelda where it doesn't... Well, actually the first Zelda tells you that the second quest is like the master quest, I think. I think it gives us some sort of indication that it's a harder difficulty. But I went and started a new game uh, hoping to see a difficulty prompt at the beginning, but there wasn't. And it, the game just started up as normal. So it looks like the only hard mode is the one that's in the DLC pack. Unless you have to beat the game to 100%, but I kind of doubt it. Because in previous Zelda games, even with like uh, Twilight Princess HD that came out last year, I think you could select hero mode right off the bat. But I know for sure, once you beat the game once, then you could play it on hero mode, or select it out of the options menu or something. There's nothing like that in Breath of the Wild that I can, that I can find. So I've got to call some. I've got to call BS on this. I've got to call BS on this because this is unnecessary. And I'm doing this for two reasons. One is consistency, because I've called out other third parties like EA with Star Wars Battlefront when I felt like they were abusing and misusing DLC. And that's what I'm seeing here. The hard mode, hero mode, master quest, whatever you want to call it, it's been a part of, I think, just about every Zelda game ever made for quite a while. The f again, the first game had a master quest. Once you beat the game the first time, you play through a second time, master quest. And with more of the recent games, they've changed it to hero mode, which is, I guess, more or less the same thing. But it seems like with this, the only hard mode is the one that's coming through DLC. And that's just not right. Now the second reason I'm bringing this up is because I want to know if some of the Nintendo fans in the YouTube community have anything to say about this. Not just the YouTube community, but the internet in general. Because over the past five or so years, all I've heard and all I've seen from Nintendo fans and on the internet mainly YouTube, is how bad third parties are. Because they do day one patches and they sell you all the content through DLC. Well, let's recap. Zelda Breath of the Wild had a day one update. Zelda Breath of the Wild did a season pass and it's selling you a hard mode. Now you can look the other way and that's fine. If this doesn't bother you, that's fine. And look, this in no way takes away from Breath of the Wild. The game is fantastic. I found it to be plenty challenging uh, the way it is. And I still think it deserves all the perfect review scores that it got. I truly do. And this is coming from someone who's never been the world's biggest Zelda fan. But if you're going to look the other way on this, I don't want to hear any more knocking of third parties for DLC and for day one updates and all these other things. If you're going to allow one company to get away with it, you're going to have to let the others get away with it as well. 
This is plainly, this is plain and simple abuse of DLC. There are plenty of things that they could have offered up for downloadable content, like the third DLC pack that they've got coming in uh, Christmas or December or whatever, the Christmas period. That's fine. I I'm all for that. I don't. I wasn't planning to pick it up myself even before I found out that there was no hard mode within the game. But that's fine. You can do that kind of DLC. That's that's perfectly reasonable. But taking stuff that was taking stuff out that was a part of the main games in the past and trying to sell that as DLC, that's not cool. And look, Nintendo's done DLC right in the past. You know, one of the earliest videos I did on this channel was about DLC done right. And one of the prime examples I used of DLC being done right was Mario Kart 8. That was a game where you knew you were getting all of the content that you had gotten with previous games. And the DLC that they came out with greatly extended that game, and it was reasonably priced. They didn't take out 150cc and try to sell you that as DLC. As a matter of fact, they gave us 200cc with a free update. And look, a bad idea is a bad idea no matter who's doing it. If this were a third party, if this were a Call of Duty or Activision doing this with Call of Duty or EA doing this with any of their games, with Mass Effect, Andromeda, or whatever, we would never hear the end up from Nintendo fans. They would be like, oh, look how bad third parties are. And they would be right to do so, but for some reason, I, I, I think, at least, with Nintendo, it's going to be a different story if they're going to get a pass over this, at least from some. I know there's going to be people out there like myself that are going to call them out, but I feel like the majority are just going to overlook it. And look, I'm not against DLC. As I've said, there is examples, like with Nintendo, of DLC being done right. And there's examples of that in other places. Unfortunately, more or less, or I should say more of the time, it's it's done incorrectly, and it's, it, and it's abused, and it's done in such a way that it screws over the consumers. But there are examples of it being done right, and I'm fine with DLC as a concept. It's not inherently bad, but this is an example of it being uh, done very poorly, in my opinion. Anyway, that's all I've got to say on the subject. If it's if it's discovered that Zelda does have a difficulty setting, that you have to beat the game to 100%, I'll come out here and I'll come back to YouTube and do another video and uh, correct the record. I'll be more than happy to. I'll be more than happy to be wrong about this, but I don't think that I am. But anyway, I've got some more content coming this week, so stay tuned for that. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to us if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more gaming news and gaming discussions from dorks like us. This is Foxhounder N313 signing off. God bless.